Hello, everyone. I'm Dave Mackay, President and CEO of RBC. And it's an honor to be with you virtually today to accept the prestigious Catalyst Award on behalf of our 85,000 employees around the world. I want to thank the Catalyst organization for this incredible honor and for everything the organization is doing around the world to accelerate progress for women through workplace inclusion. This recognition is an important milestone on our continuing journey to build one of the world's most diverse and inclusive workplaces. It underpins how we live, our purpose of helping clients thrive and communities prosper. And every day I see how advancing diversity and inclusion makes RBC more creative, more innovative, and more successful. As the Catalyst Award reflects, the advancement of women and diverse talent continues to be a business imperative that's core to RBC's values and strategy. And women lead many critical roles across our senior ranks, representing 51% of new hires and 52% of promotions last year. Since 2015, we've increased the representation of women executives from 38% to 46%. We know we can achieve an even better balance in the future, but we're proud of the progress we've made to date. Stepping back, accepting this award in the midst of a global pandemic has been another point of reflection about some of the widening challenges the pandemic has exposed in our world. The past 12 months have cast an even greater light on the impact of gender and racial inequalities and the overall fairness of our society. And we've seen the health and economic challenges negatively impact women's participation in many labor forces around the world. Black, Indigenous, and people of color have disproportionately suffered the impact of the virus from both a financial and health perspective. Both of these realities are yet another reminder of the work that's in front of us to create a fairer and more inclusive society for ourselves and future generations. As Canada's biggest bank and one of the largest globally, RBC will continue to set a clear example as a vocal champion of inclusion and the effort to address inequalities that stand in the way of change for all those underrepresented in our workplaces. At this critical moment, we simply can't afford to pause the progress we've made in recent years. We need to accelerate change. At RBC, you have my commitment that we'll continue to speak up for inclusion and work harder to increase representation of women and minorities across our entire organization, particularly at the senior leadership level. Thank you again, and let's keep speaking up for inclusion.